Hi, I'm Scott Bland, Senior Technical Instructor for Texas Instruments. Today, I'm excited to introduce the newest booster pack for TI's MCU Launchpad ecosystem. The Sensor Hub Booster Pack is a plug-in daughter board that allows developers to create products with up to nine axes of motion tracking and multiple environmental sensing capabilities. This booster pack is designed for TI's new Tiva C Series TM4C123G Launchpad, but it will also work equally well with its predecessor, the Stellaris LM4F120XL Launchpad. Plus, the booster pack is hardware compatible with the existing MSP430 and C2000 launch pads too. Let's jump right into exploring the Sensor Hub booster pack by plugging it into the Tiva C series launch pad. You'll notice the booster pack and this launch pad utilize the XL connection standard. This standard consists of two pairs of headers providing connections to most of the pins on the microcontroller. These 40 easy to access pins allow you to connect the sensor hub booster pack and still be able to add other capabilities to your projects with the dual gender 20 pin stackable headers on the launch pad. Let's take a look at the onboard sensors. U1 is the TI TMP006 infrared temperature sensor. U2 is the Bosch BMP180 pressure sensor. U3 is the InvenSense MPU9150 9-axis motion sensor. That's three axes of gyro, three axes of accelerometer, and three axes of compass. U4 is the Intersil ISL29023 ambient and infrared light sensor. U5 is the Sensirian SHT21 humidity and ambient temperature sensor. All these sensors are connected through the XL connectors via a single I2C port. Also note, the EM format connectors on the sensor hub. These connectors allow expansion to a variety of TI wireless RF boards like the CC2533 2.4 GHz Remo TI, the CC3000 Wi-Fi, and CC4000 GPS boards. TI's free TiVaWare software provided with a launchpad kit, includes an easy to use sensor driver library. This software provides developers with a sensor fusion API and several example applications that demonstrate how each of the sensors operate individually or in collaboration. Now, let's explore the air mouse example application that lets us experiment with the motion sensors on the sensor hub booster pack. First, we need to program the board with the air mouse application. To keep the step simple here, let's program the board with the binary of the example using the LM Flash programmer. Connect the emulation port on the board to a free USB port on your computer. Make sure the power switch is in the debug position. The green LED on the board should light. Download, install, and then run the LM Flash programmer. In the quick set box, select TM4C 123G Launchpad. Click the Program tab and then browse to the Air Mouse binary file. Mine is on my desktop. Check the Verify After Program and Reset MCU After Program checkboxes. Click the Program button. After a moment, the binary will be written to the flash on the microcontroller and the device will be reset. Close the LM Flash Programmer. Disconnect the USB cable from the launchpad emulation port and move the power switch to the device position. Reconnect the USB cable to the device port and press the reset button. Your computer will detect the new USB device and install the standard mouse drivers. If everything is working properly, the LEDs on the launch pad will be blinking quickly. Note that the proper way to hold the air mouse is with the USB cable to the right and the buttons underneath your fingers. Open a browser window. Gently pitch the launch pad forward and back to mouse down and up. Roll it to mouse left and right. From a resting position, flat and level, a quick jerk up will simulate Alt-Tab on your keyboard to show your open programs. Once lifted, 
A quick twist left or right will select between the windows available. A quick jerk down will make the selection stick and release the Alt key. From flat and level, a spin about the Z axis will page up or page down. From flat and level, a quick forward or back while keeping the air mouse flat will zoom in and out. For the air mouse example, the InvenSense MPU9150 provides raw acceleration, angular velocity, and magnetic field measurements. All nine axes are fused and filtered using a complementary direct cosine matrix or DCM algorithm into Euler angles for roll, pitch, and yaw. Roll and pitch are used to perform the mouse movements. Raw angular velocities and accelerations are used to interpret the gestures. Now that you've experimented with a Sensor Hub booster pack, you're ready to start developing the next sensor fusion applications, like GPS tracking, home and building automation, portable consumer electronics, games, and more. Good luck.